Yes. What's up, guys? Today I'm doing an interview on Marilyn Monroe about the 1970s. And her throat's dry right now, so I'm gonna have to speak for her. But she's here, as you can see, looking beautiful as always. So today, Marilyn Monroe, I need you to tell me about the 1970s. You know, what was going on, what the problems were, and how the people wanted to, wanted the problems to be fixed. Can you help me with that? Mm. Marilyn says, yes, that's fine with me, Mr. Robert. I didn't quite make it to the 1970s, but from what Michael Jackson told me, the civil rights movement was all around the USA. Black and whites were protesting all night. Most protesters be began to be physically abused by the cops, you know, canines being released on them. They were being sprayed by high pressure water hoses. They were getting beat by cops with their little sticks, swans, thingies. You know, crazy stuff was going around. Martin Luther King just died recently. You know, just craziness. That's what she had to say about that. So, Marilyn, what else was going on in the 1970s other than the Civil Rights Movement? Mm. Marilyn says the Women's Rights Movement was going on as well. Back in the day, nothing was going on really we we couldn't vote we could couldn't get paid as much as the men the men got the job more often and even if we if a woman and a guy had the same job most of the time the guy got paid more just little petty stuff that the women were trying to fix you know nothing major but I remember floating around on August 26th, the 50th anniversary of the women's suffrage in the U.S. I remember in New York, more than 20,000 women protested on a strike for equality. It was primarily focused on equality, opportunities in the workforce, political rights for women, and social equality in marriage. Mm. That sounds like a lot that was going on around there. What about the Vietnam War, Maryland? You ain't said nothing about that yet. Uh, well, on April 30th, 1975, NVA troops entered the city of Saigon and quickly overcame their surroundings, captured key buildings and installations, then a tank from the 324th Division crashed into the Independence Palace at 11 a.m. local time. At the Viet Cong flag was raised above it. President Duong Van Mien, who was who had successfully overcame Honung two days earlier, surrendered. That led to 2.5 million South Vietnam. Vietnamese being sent to concentration camps and estimated 250,000 of those were died or killed. Well, what else is there to know about the 1970s? Marilyn, is that all you have to say? Yep, that's all I have to say, Mr. Robert. Well, all right. Thank you for letting me do this interview on you. You look pretty, you know. Uh, I'm going to call it a night. Adios, amigos.